quick quick sort of review or uh, a review of history of devices with pens and mobile phones that I've owned finishing with the Note 8. Um, I always like the idea of using a pen to interact with something. I like the idea of using um, an old style of interaction with a new technology. So years and years ago when the Palm Pilot first appeared, um, after I saw a friend with the very first generation Palm Pilot, I decided I would save up and when the second generation Palm Pilot came out, I bought one of these, a Palm Pilot Professional. So we're talking about mid 90s, 1990s, and um, would have been an expensive device. I think I paid something like $600. And considering you're just getting a small little computer you put in your pocket, now it doesn't seem like a particularly good value, but at the time it was amazing. Uh, I suppose one of the points I'm going to make here with all these is that. Each one of these was amazing when it first came out and people first saw them. So when I had this I could do all sorts of interesting things with it. Email, calculator, read documents. Um, I had uh, little to-do lists and a file system that you could pull up various files and edit them. If you sent an e if if you wrote an email and you hooked it back into your computer, it would send it when it resynced. Uh, so they had this whole syncing mechanism where you could do things on it, and then when you synced it with your computer, everything that you were doing would either be sent off or re-downloaded, whatever needed to happen. And of course, it had a pen, so you could use a thing called graffiti, which I have a little sheet 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 on the back for that. Um, and you would write your letters here uh, in graffiti uh, or you do your numbers on the other side and uh, it's sort of good because you wouldn't have to move your hand and if you knew the symbol for each letter you could actually type out a sentence pretty quickly and I in fact wrote a few assignments on this on the train believe it or not and when I pulled it out Apart from people probably thinking I was a bit of a twit, um, people also thought that it was pretty amazing. I mean, this was amazing technology in the day. But it wasn't a phone. It didn't have. It, it has a phone button there. I don't remember what that does or what that did. Um, but it wasn't a phone. I even had the one after this, the Palm Pilot 3C, which was colour. Uh, that was pretty cool at the time. Everybody thought that was amazing. You could do lots of little apps on there, which you could get onto it via the computer. Uh, even games and various things. And the stylus was a bit better. The res was better, and it was colour, and it was more powerful. And that was a great device too. Still not a phone, though. But eventually phones did become. This sort of became a phone after a while. They, they made one eventually and companies like, uh, I think this is a HTC phone, but companies like that were starting to make little devices like this which had... We have to remember at the time people wanted small phones. That's what it was all about. So um, but they're not very good for having a big screen, a small phone. But so this you sort of end up with this compromised thing. It's pretty small, um, satisfies the small phone idea, uh, but it has a screen. And this uh, this was actually again a, a pretty amazing little device. When they, when you showed this to people at the time, they were pretty blown away by what what it could do. Uh, not only did it uh, make phone calls and whatnot, it had a camera on the back. That was very new. This even has a little selfie mirror. I didn't call it that, but it was just a little mirror that you could use. You got your face in there and then you knew it was point facing at you. 
Um, it even has a little SD card slot at the top. It had Bluetooth. Uh, it had, I believe that's an IR blaster there. And it also had a pen because we were using Windows Mobile. And using Windows Mobile without a pen was pretty hard. So a pen made that quite possible. And at the time, it seemed like a, a you know, I, I was boasting to people that I could uh, use this as a little display device to show customers or clients uh, some of my work, what I could do. And I could show them a little presentation on that screen, believe it or not. And people thought that was a good idea. That's what that's everybody thought that. Battery life was can't remember, but uh, the half this body is taken up with battery. That the battery would have gone in there, uh, and um, battery life wasn't too bad. Uh, That's before iPhone, though, and at the time, nobody in the mainstream had any time for this sort of stuff. It was, uh, yeah, just the geeky type people had that. And then iPhone came along. And then Samsung <coughs> decided to uh, do the same thing um, with with but with Android, and so this uh, Samsung Galaxy was invented. This is the Galaxy S two, um, and at the time this came out again, this was a super large phone. People didn't have phones this big. This was. Uh, thought to be quite amazing just how large that was and the technology is has stepped up another few degrees I should mention in between this and this I had another little device called a, a HTC Diamond Touch which was a beautiful little phone it's about that size it was all black beautiful faceted back very thin uh, well thinner than this and had a GPS had all the things in here the camera would have been better um, the screen was nice, so it took up more of the face, and uh, it still had a little pen for interacting with uh, Windows. Um, yeah, lovely little device, but times are changing, and the Galaxy and the iPhone start taking off. So this this Galaxy S two, as I was saying, was fantastic at the time. People thought that that was a huge, huge phone. Um, 8 megapixel camera, beautiful screen on it. Gorilla Glass has started to be something that people had, and so you started to not worry about the screens getting scratched. Uh, most, both of these are plastic screens, I believe. Uh, they feel very plastic to me. <clears throat> But uh, no pen. I had to go without my beloved pen. But the Note series was invented, and I, I, when the first one must have come out, I mustn't have felt very wealthy, able to afford it, so I didn't buy it. But when the Note 3 came along, I must have had a bit more money and decided I could now justify it. Plus, the specs had jumped up. And the Note 3 just seemed to be the sweet spot for current top-notch specs, the price I could afford on a plan. The pen was really nice, although I'm now wondering, it's, because I'll get to the Note 8 in a minute, Note 8 is, is really, really even way better than this one, but this one at the time, the pen seemed amazing. It seems so grippy right now, in hindsight. Um, about a 13 megapixel camera on it, which was amazing at the, when it came out. So this, this though, was a gigantic leap in size. Um, and I hesitated a lot before. Uh, I tested this out in my pocket over and over again until I eventually decided that I was just going to have to live with a very large phone in my pocket. and. A few years have passed since then, and of course, a phone like this in my pocket seems completely normal and not large at all. But I really have got a lot of use out of this. Um, I updated it with later, uh, later ROMs, so eventually at the moment, although it's powered down, 
has a note uh, 7 ROM on it that people have created and uh, apart from the battery just starting to get old and me wanting a new phone it was still quite a good device um, nice aspect ratio which I'll get to also nice leather, fake leather back but it was grippy and also when you picked it up you knew which way was which so enter the note 8 as a note 3 user and maybe other people have already had this experience a couple of years ago but I haven't had I didn't pay too much attention to some of the other phones out there um, I didn't realize that when they were getting the screens larger and larger the news was always that the screens getting larger um, and it, it is on a diagonal but you know it's this note is not wider it's narrower and so to be a larger screen it's actually got a whole lot longer now I'm just lining up the the end of the actual screen part and that's bits in line and this one comes to here and this one comes out to, to here it's a good almost two centimeters longer um, it's sort of surprising now the benefits of that obviously it's easier to hold in your hand like that and you can sort of move your thumb around the screen and you get across the screen pretty easily but if I'm holding it like this I can't get my th oh, I can get my thumb to the top I can't get it to the bottom and if I hold it like this I can get to the bottom although it's getting a bit unbalanced and I can't get it to the top anymore but I can get across to the side this one I can sort of go everywhere but I can't get across the other side not easily but they are big you're probably using two hands most of the time I just I just found that mm, the long and skinny wasn't sure about it the other thing I noticed that when I was taking notes you're just a little bit more confined in how you if you're doing a diagram or whatever you really have to think ahead about whether or not the diagram should be in landscape or portrait whereas this one it's more like a normal piece of paper so you're just more used to that sort of aspect ratio this one you're sort of working on a longer strip you know I'm going to get used to it, it'll be fine um, and one reason why I will want to get used to it is the pen experience on this is just the, the best I've ever experienced now, I use pens on the computers and on tablets all the time on uh, Wacom tablets and on other computers and laptops um, and this one is it's sublime it's way it's sort of a factor of twice as nice as the next best one it's really pleasant to use I mean the the pen on say a laptop um, some of those can be very nice too but this this trumps it I think partly because this the pixel density is so so great on here and the precision of the thing is is just perfect you can really it really does become a bit like you really are drawing on paper ink on paper so that almost as a note user is sort of worth it now the other thing I should just address really quickly if you want to use a pen on a lap, on on a on a on a phone, um, you want to have a note. There is no other option. So people who think that maybe um, you're just being silly uh, buying an expensive phone, I don't want to buy an expensive phone. The fact is, if you want a good pen on a phone, which I want. There is no other option. You really have to have this phone, and I find it so useful. I just, I just have to uh, have to spend the money to have it. Uh, so moving right along, what else? The other thing, before I put a cover on this thing, the glass back. Um, this is just me coming from an older phone. When you pick it up, 
you s can't tell immediately which way is which. Um, I've got a cover on now, so I can. Partly that's half the reason why I put a cover on there, so I can pick it up and instantly, without having to look at it, I know it's facing the right way already. Um, before I had that on, you pick it up and you sort of to go which way is the front again for a second. Um, I also needed to put a cover on because when my hands are dry, the, the glass was very slippery. They're not dry right now, they're a bit clammy, so it's sticky. This one, no matter what you did, dry hands or wet hands, the back was, it, it got grotty, it's a bit gross, but it was sticky, it's a sticky grotty. So it would, it doesn't slide off. When I had this one new and I had dry hands and I do this, it would just go, <sighs> no good. So this this case, just so you know, it's uh, that naked, uh, bare naked case. Uh, they advertise like crazy on face on Facebook. Um, nice and very thin. I don't mind it, although it could be a bit more grippy. I must admit. The other thing that I do like is that the buttons are now flush, which I prefer. Um, I get to know where they are for a while, and you feel them. Um, uh, let's see what else. The oh my little countdown's going fast. The video consumption on this device is really nice. Oh, by the way, I have a little custom theme on here, so I've got all, everything within reach of my thumb. Um, so I don't need to um, move my hand all around the screen unless I'm using something like a camera where then I use my other hand anyway because now you're using a camera. Um, but, but yes, back to back to watching videos. Um, let's find a video which is shot on a high. Hmm. Um, anyway, the, the quality of video, it is very pleasant, I'll give it that. A nice widescreen, and it is, it is it, I can't resist, other people have said that you shouldn't bother with going full width, you know, YouTube on this phone and has a little expand to fit crop. Um, and you missed a bit at the bottom, you missed a bit at the top. But honestly, the result is beautiful, the content looks really nice, the quality of the image on this high density display is just amazing, and I really love that. I really have been enjoying that. Um, I don't believe you lose too much in the pixel quality because um, that pixel number across there and across there is not the original that the video was shot in anyway, so since we're scaling it to something, we might as well scale it a tiny bit more and get it to fill the screen. Um, that is really, really good. I also have found that the long screen is now better for... I do get, have to get used to the little menu that hides. It is now better if you want to run side by side. I use... I use side-by-side -side apps a lot more now because of the long screen, so I guess that's a positive. Um, any other little features which are interesting? Uh, no, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, you get some nice, ex the headphones that come with it are pretty nice. Um, sound out of the device is pretty good, just out of those holes though, if you cover them up, it's no good. Pen's amazing, screen's amazing. Uh, video content um, consumption is is a really good. The downsides compared to this are the grippiness on the back, um, which you can solve with the case. And also, I think the aspect ratio is more useful for actually taking notes like this than it is for this. But the uh, experience with the pen is so much nicer. That's about it. Reckon? I think that's it. This device is amazing today. This device was amazing 15, 
almost 20 years ago. No, it was 20 years ago. This device was amazing 10 years ago. And this device was amazing, I don't know, 8 years ago. So, imagine what it'll be like in another 10 years.